subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, Euclidean distance, Manhattan and Minkowski distance. Uh, in our previous classes, we discussed about K nearest neighbors model. That model is dependent on uh, calculating distance. Not only KNN, many of our machine learning models depends on calculating distance. Uh, so understanding different distance calculations formula will help uh, a lot in machine learning. Uh, so coming to our uh, Euclidean distance. So Euclidean distance can be calculated. Uh, take an example. Here we are taking two points. X, this is a two dimensional coordinate space. In this we are having x1, y1 is a point. x2, y2 is another point. So if we want to calculate distance between these two points, that minimum distance between these two points will get this line. So how we will calculate this distance is, uh, suppose this x1, y1 and x2, y2. So x2 minus x1 will give this distance. y2 minus y1 will give this distance. From our Pythagoras theorem, if we want to calculate this distance from our Pythagoras theorem, what is the formula? d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So based on Pythagoras theorem, we will calculate this minimum distance between x1 and x2, two points. x1, y1, x2, y2 are two points between these two points. This concept can be extended to any dimensions, even for three dimensions and n dimensions. If three dimensional coordinate system, the point is given as x1, y1 and z1, point is given as x2, y2, z2. So in order to calculate the distance, d is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. So this can be extended to n dimensions. Okay, coming to Manhattan distance. So how we calculate the Manhattan distance is uh, d is equal to a absolute value of x2 minus x1. Absolute value of x2 minus x1 means uh, even if it is negative, we will consider it as positive. That's uh, positive or negative. We don't consider the sign. Always consider it as a positive. Absolute value of x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. Uh, so absolute value of x2 minus x1 means this distance. y2 y minus y1 means this distance. Means, uh, summation of this distance and this distance uh, that is what Euclidean distance that is what Manhattan distance is uh, calculating uh, that's the difference between Euclidean and Manhattan distance what's Euclidean distance is uh, calculating it is calculating this minimum distance uh, Manhattan distance is calculating the these two values summation of these two values uh, okay so coming to next uh, you know the in our previous classes we discussed about k nearest neighbors so the example which we considered here in Kenny Rush Neighbors is Amazon mobile data set. Think about the situation like this. In Amazon mobile data set, we are having 50,000 different feedbacks and each word in that feedback is considered as one column. So how many different words we obtained in that 50,000 feedbacks? We got 9,000 different words we got in that 50,000 mobile feedbacks so each column is considered as a dimension in machine learning so how many dimensions we are having 9000 dimensions we have as the dimensions number of dimensions increases calculating euclidean distance is little difficult uh, computationally costly when compared to manhattan distance because why why this it is difficult is uh, x2 minus x1 whole square we have to square the value and do summation here no need to square the value okay computationally this is cheap computationally this is a cost so as the number of dimensions increases it's better to use manhattan distance when compared to euclidean distance coming to minkowski distance minkowski distance is the generalization of these two distance calculations it is given like a sig sigma summation of uh, i is equal to 1 to n. n. n means n dimensions here. xi minus yi, absolute value of xi minus yi whole power p. If p is equal to 2, what we get? x2 minus x1 whole square. If p is equal to 1, what we get? x2 minus x1 whole power 1. 
summation of all the values all the dimensions then whole power 1 by p if p is equal to 2 what we get square root of if p is equal to 1 nothing so it's a generalization of these two p can be taken as any value not only 1 2 we can take 5 10 any p value but mostly we use 1 and 2 euclidean and manhattan distance Okay, in our uh, SK Learn, in our last class, we discussed about SK Learn K neighbor classifier. In this class, they have given as a Minkowski distance and p value is given. If you take p is equal to 1, it is taken as Manhattan distance. If you take p is equal to 2, it is taken as a Euclidean distance. Okay, this is how it's implemented in SK Learn K neighbor classifier. Hope you understand the class. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.